Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Today's session we are going to discuss about time and counter circuit operating in mode 0 function. Before entering the topic, I just recall the term T mode register. So T mode register is declaring the information to microcontroller. Whether the timer counter circuit is operating in a timer mode or counter mode, then the circuit is enabled by software input or hardware input, the mode of operation. The, all the information we can collect from the T mode register. Now I enter in the today's session topic timer counter circuit operating in mode 0 function. It is a simple circuit of uh, mode 0 function. So this circuit involved by different blocks like oscillators block, frequency divider, timer 1, timer 1 flag, then enabling circuits. First I start with oscillator. So generally the oscillator block is mainly used to generating the clock frequency. In 8051 microcontroller, the oscillator circuit is generating the clock frequency range 11.08 MHz. The whole frequency is not support to timer circuits. So here we are using one block that namely called as a frequency divider. This frequency divider is dividing the frequency by 12. 11. 08 by 12 you can get the dividing frequency that frequency is passed to the timer circuits so in this circuit we are using the two switches switch number one is represent for logic switch it namely called as logic switch the purpose of this switch whether the circuit is operating in a timer mode or counter mode here posing the two input signals C bar T bar equal to 0. C bar T bar value equal to 0. This switch is correct to upwards. The circuit is operating in a timer mode. Suppose C bar T bar value equal to 1. In this case, this switch is close to downwards. When this switch is close to downwards, the input is get from T1 pin. So this T1 pin is send the input signal. The number of events occur outside of the microcontroller. The signal is passed to T1 pin. The information is passed through these two switches and it reached to timer block. But in this case, in this mode 0 function, I consider this circuit is operating in timer mode. So C bar T bar value equal to 0. The circuit is operating in a timer mode. The switch 1 is closed to upwards. The frequency is passed through the switch and reach the signal to S2 switch. This S2 switch is mainly used to find whether the timer circuit is enabled by software or hardware. Here we are using the three input signals namely called as TR1, gate, INT1 pin. This TR1 represent for the timer block is considered as a timer 1. So in 8051 microcontroller we have two timers, timer 0 and timer 1. In this circuit we consider the timer 1 block. So TR1 value set to be 1. Then we go to the next input gate. I already told the purpose of gate. The gate signal is 0. The timer block is activated by software. Suppose gate value equal to 1. The timer block is activated by hardware. In this circuit, the gate value is 0. The timer circuit is activated by software. The input of inverter is 0. Output of the inverter is 1. Just taking 1's complement of the input. The output is 1. The first OR gate input is 1. The next input, second input of OR gate, pin number namely called as INT1 pin. So this INT1 is a hardware input. Suppose this value equal to 1, the timer is enabled by hardware. Here the input value is 0, INT1 value is 0. So two input values. We can fix the first input value is 1, second input value is 0. Just we are applying the properties of OR gate. Any one input of the OR gate is 1, the output is set to be 1. Now, both the input of AND gate is 1, the output of the AND gate is 
1. You just apply the property. Both the inputs are high level. The output is 1. When the output of AND gain is 1, this switch is pulled down. This switch is connect to timer clock. Now, the clock frequency is entering the timer 1 block. So, it's called as timer 1. Timer 1 is consist of 13 bit register. So, in this 13 bit register is divided to blocks. One namely called as TH1 and another namely called as TL1. So, TH1 is a 8 bit register. TL1 is a 5 bit register. So, in this TL1 register, we consider only the least significant 5 bit. The most significant 3 bit is a ignored one. So, first you set the initial value of the timer. I need a more delay. So, I set the values 0, 0. TL1 value 0, 0 and TH1 value is 0, 0. So, after entering the clock pulse, the initial value is increment by 1. So, after entering every clock pulse, the initial value is increment by 1. Finally, it reaches the maximum value. The maximum value of the 5 bit is 1F, 8 bit is EFF. It's a maximum limit of this time of 1, 13 bit register. So, how to find the mode 0, the maximum limit of the delay? You just converting the decimal number of this 5 bit is 32 and 8 bit is 256. Just so multiplying these two values, 256 into 32, I can get the message cycle 8192. Message cycle. This much of uh, delays we can create in mode 0 function. So, after reaching this maximum limit, entering the next clock pulse in this time, this value is rolled over to 0, 0, 0, 0. It's a roll over. So, in this transition, the TF1 value set to be 1. So, this TF1 value is set to be 1. So, this 1 is represent whether the timer 1 register is reaching the maximum limit or not reaching the maximum limit. Once it reaches the maximum limit, the TF1 value is set to be 1. So, this 1 signal is passed to the interfacing device. Whether the device is turn on or turn off. That, that will de uh, decide with the help of this time of flag value. I hope you understand this concept. If you are not subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe. Thanks for watching my channel. Thank you.